Well, I did. It did crash. <laughs> Very rude, may I add. But yes, it did. It did crash. Uh, the save was too intense. Couldn't handle the save. Sweet dreams are made of things. Who am I to disagree? I traveled the world and the seven seas. Uh -huh. Yes, it did crash, but it looks like you guys are back. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh -huh. Welcome back. Uh -huh. I probably would be on here too much longer. Uh -oh. Hey, there's an Urson. She had she had kids. Oh, she's she's quite a quirky character, but who's, who's his parents? Basic family tree. So Magdalena Urson. She's Claire Urson. Yeah, that's where the name comes from. So Claire Urson. Jared Frio. Interesting. And then Ethan Bunch. Oh, interesting. So that's Ethan Bunch's child. Seth. I've seen him around for a... I, I've seen him pop up before. There you go. Um, and Arlo Bunch had Tanisha <laughs> Mandrak. <laughs> Why did you guys run away from me? I thought we were friends. <laughs> it's one of my favorite sound alerts. Run away! Run away! Run away! So, yeah, Arlo had two kids. I'm assuming from the same parent. Yeah, Kaylin, Lankarak, and they look nothing alike. They're like complete opposite spectrums. So, like, Tanisha is definitely more like a mom, and then Karina is all her dad. <laughs> there's Arlo. And then Lisa, there's Monica, and there's the younger brother, Juan. Juan? Juan? You pronounce it Juan? Um, and then Darlene. So Darlene ended up marrying um, Cyclone, but she didn't have any kids. And then, of course, Cyclone with... Um, what's her name? Hatch. Emma Hatch had Gwen. Which then there's Sean there. She's quite cute. She got. I think those features seem to be coming down from Emma, Emma Hatch. They, they're very cute traits. Yeah, so that's kind of like. So the Urson's coming to it. Oh, a newbie. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm a newbie. So that's Ethan Bunch's <laughs> line. Well, I mean, you guys are at least looking at the view and enjoying it, but it's 7 o'clock, so you guys have popped in and saw the art. Let's see if you guys can watch a movie. Oh, 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 oh. oh can you not do it with someone else? No, you, you can attend the movie on your own. Well, that's fine. It came with tweezers. M maybe not. The mold that moved. Swollen heart. I'm a carrot. If I was a kid, I'd want to watch a movie called I'm a Carrot. Without a doubt. <laughs> she can go home. Um, she's looking at art, even though she dislikes art. What's the little one doing? The game is struggling oh. for some reason. So, I think it could oh, be because I need to have, have space cleared up on the disk drive. Yes, love the child, please. No, 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 no. Child needs lots of love. Oh, no, boo. Oh. And then child can go to bed. And then it looks like... Uncle Xavier is looking after a moon. Oh. I guess we should probably on stage <laughs> tend to a bit of the town. Girl, I told you to take a bath. <laughs> 
She won't. She's ready. Let's just focus. Okay. Well, you want to have a meditate. Why don't you go outside in your spot and meditate? Oh, you're running to meditate. Oh, gosh. He's keen. Oh, we've got to make a playground. I'm definitely loving the idea of making a playground. We've got a few things to create on this, actually. We've got upstairs to finish. We've got a playground to make. But they seem to really enjoy the trampoline. <laughs> oh, Luna, I've seen some sketchy, scammy people who label themselves as spiritual. Oh, haven't we all? <laughs> That's the difference from a balanced spiritual and an unbalanced spiritual. But how you avoid them? You just listen to your heart. All right, You just take that moment to connect with your heart and that will get the answer. I think a lot of the reason these spiritual scammers get a kind of like are successful is because they're obviously hitting pain points. And if you respond in a trigger desperate way, if you respond from a place of lack, then that's the universe saying, hey, you're not meant to respond from that place. And in turn, you're not going to end up having, um, like, uh, you're going to end up, in a sense, have a sense of loss because you've been scammed out of something. But if you are always come from a place of love, always check into your heart, don't let yourself be triggered by pain points, and um, when you're in that space, you'll find someone that is spiritual that will guide you with love. And, and you can you get used to it. You, you get to figure out what their energy is like. They're usually quite obvious. Whether they're genuine or not. They have a very unique energy. Oh, Xavier, whoops. We should have had party for you. I'm sorry. I think you'll be fine about it. Blinda! Julan, do! <laughs> the, the hard thing about being a spiritual oh, wow, business person too it's like Ooh. I, oh. the worry of being seen as that scammer spiritual scammer when you know you're genuine that was a big thing that I had to break past because then that knocked back my value that had me trying to justify my value yeah that was a journey and a half <laughs> I only oh. just got over that block <laughs> Sweet dreams are made of things Who am I to disagree? Travel the world and the seven seas Everybody's looking for something Some of them want to use you Some of them want to be used by you some of them want to abuse you. Some of them want to be abused. Uh, Luna, I've never came from love. I just follow my heart, so I'm not completely lost. <laughs> Your heart should be the space of love. Otherwise, it's not a balanced heart that you're letting guide you. Hold your help. Keep your head on. Hold your head. Keep your head on. Hold your head. On. Hold your head. So let's get her to make the sushi, and then we'll tuck the sushi away so that she can take that. But the kids should be growing up, I think, tomorrow. So as soon as they grow up, we'll we'll call it there, and I'll go get my shit together. We're all in this together. <laughs> oh, does it kill me? So it seems balanced to me. <laughs> There's definitely um, more to living than, well, at least this hasn't killed me. That's a very survival mindset. Hold your head up. Keep your head moving on. See if we can. She needs to remember to take that, but she can take that tomorrow. The kids are in bed. They're awake. I might get her to feed them. She likes. She's a little bit crazy. She just likes to randomly go sit on chairs. 
You just let it do it. It's a good song. Larpy. Some of them want to be used Some of them want to be used by you. When you've almost died seven times as a kid, you just survive. Yeah, we're going through some big energetic shifts in this life. <laughs> mm, Gemma, this Gemma generation Gemma. is that Gemma. shifting point, though, of taking those moments mm -hmm. of mm. kind of being mm -hmm. on the edge of death or feeling like you've been living off survival mm. mode and being able to turn that into coming from peace and love instead. It's a big shift. Happy New Year's. It's midnight. <laughs> happy happy new day. Happy new day. Midnight for you. Wowzers. Time goes so fast. Yeah, it's 5 p.m. for me. I'll be in sleep when the time comes to be uh, midnight, for sure. <gasps> I'm usually asleep by now. Alright, these kids will be growing up by the end of this next day. I definitely feel myself um, I'm gonna need to be grounding myself so I'll have a shower after this. Have myself a shower. Might have myself. Oh, I'm gonna have to have some food. I do have some leftover um, zoodles. Alfredo styled zoodles. I might have some too. Who is awake? Xavier, what are you doing? I don't know if you try to eat the grilled cheese and it went funny or not, but I'm not going to do that. And then I'm going to get him. Let's see if we can fix his body clock. Let's get him to go to sleep. Uh, no idea. <laughs> she, she broke it. What? Hey, well done. Moe's depressive around midnight. Mm. Persistent mm. depression. Mm. Mm. Huh. Mm. Can you... What's the particular thought patterns or <coughs> feelings oh. that come up mm. at midnight for you, Luna? Mm. Mm. Some mm. of them want mm. to use you. Some of them want to be used by you. Some of them want to abuse you. Some of them want to be abused. I think the first time I heard that song was uh, Sucker Punch, the movie. That really stuck with me. It's a pretty interesting, it's a, it's a very interesting movie, Sucker Punch. You're singing that song, which you're singing is amazing. Now, I'm stuck. That song's got stuck in my head. It's stuck in my head. That's why I'm singing it. Hey, if we go down. We go down together. <laughs> the curse of the, uh, um, what is it? The, the 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 curse of the repetitive song. The the the, the song you have stuck in your head. I don't know if you can go. Can you have another child? I, d I don't know if they can. I mean, if she's able to have another child, I'll, I'll try. But I think she's too old. She's about to grow up. She's about to elder it. Sweet, though, that she wants to have another kid with a me. So this is not just have another child. She wants one with a me. Oh, it's wow. very cute. Oh. Welcome to the jungle, we got fun and games. Welcome on into the crazy jungle. Alright, I'm going to try not to butcher your um, username. Feel free to guide me with how you like to pronounce it. But is it... Chal... Che... Chihali? Chihalib? Chihalib? Help me. <laughs> 
<laughs> either way, welcome to the Crazy Jungle Crew. Chilling with some Sims. I'm about to hop off though. Um, not bad. I did okay. <laughs> welcome to the jungle. We have fun and games. And we got a Dabby coming in. I love that. Dabby McDabbers. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Um, yes, welcome to the Crazy Jungle Crew. We're doing... I'm actually probably not far away from um, popping off and getting my life together because I'm feeling a little ungrounded, but I've been enjoying having this session with everyone. We're getting a little bit of progression. We're, tr we're trying to get to like 30 generations and we're on generation 3, so... <laughs> slow but steady, right? Slow and steady wins the race. I didn't do okay, so is it Chai... Chai... Chai? It'd be Chai Halib? Chai Halib? That's, that's how our Aussies say it anyway. Us Aussies like butchering names. Yay! You just gotta break it up. See, the thing with usernames is it's like two or three names mashed as one. <laughs> so yeah, you, you've gotta like try what, what is it? It's like a spelling puzzle mix game, you know, where you gotta like, oh, here's all the letters, you know, what words can you make from it? <laughs> But thank you. Yes, amazing. I got it. Welcome on in. We got another Sims 3 fan. Alright, Sahara. Alright, so it's 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 midway, so I'd like to change the hair so it's longer. Because in my mindset, I'm like, oh, well, you know, they're growing up. So the hair would be longer. So let's change their appearance. We'll give her longer hair. And then I guess they can look to the food side of things. Eat leftover... Maybe she should get a muffin, actually. It's pretty early. We, we might give her a muffin. But she's got... I would say, now that she's like halfway through her childhood years, we'll give her some longer hair. Anything happening here? Tanisha and Nicholas Keaton. Interesting. And uh, Davis and Karina just had a little boy named Mac. That'll be cute. It'll be interesting to see if they get Karina's features, which is very much Arlo Bunch's features. Uh, alright, I'll pop in Luna and see your comment and we can break it down. So we're going... Well, actually, I've just come to realise that this is when they go to sleep. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this my way. Wait, we're just gonna, we're gonna do it my way. We're just gonna sneaky use a cheat and do a sneaky sneak. Well, it's not, it's not, it's not cheating. It's not cheating. Um, Luna, the feelings that usually happen is it starts with happiness and fun, Dad. and then it's just to the realization of how much I've been abused my whole life. Okay, then it goes to how alone I actually am. Yeah, okay, this alone energy coming in. Then my mind reminds me of me not being able to escape reality when writing anymore. Then boom, depression at or around midnight. It continues until I sleep at 3 a.m. Yeah, okay, this this is some big stuff. But the important thing to note, Luna, is you are able to identify what triggers you. That's the, that's the, that's the first powerful thing. Because when you know what triggers you, then you can start to bring awareness to it. And I like seeing it as like a puppeteer, right? These fear elements that are like, it's like the p fear is the puppeteer, right? And all these things that are controlled by fear, it's almost like the puppeteer's got strings, you know, like in the darkness, you can't see what he's doing, but he's pulling strings and controlling your life. When you bring awareness to it, then it doesn't, it, you can see everything that's going on. It doesn't have that ability of mystery, you know, you've got the anticipation, so you can actually see what moves are going on and therefore you can start to get to how you release that, that string, Right, because you can see what's going on, you can see where the string is, you can see what it's pulling, you can get to the point where you can actually detach that string from the puppeteer. So, really, really powerful. And I want to rec um, commend you for being open and sharing this, because I know it's a big deal, and you deserve to be commended for it. The best way to describe the process is the sunny, positive sun sets and the depression moon comes out. Yeah, there's some powerful, very, very powerful um, lessons you can learn for yourself, which are going to give you so so much support on your journey um yeah yeah jed beautiful latrone is popping in um finding the trigger is the biggest part once you know what you're aiming for you can focus your energy towards it yes it's super super powerful and i'm just going to take this moment to um shout out to the beautiful latrone once more because he's incredible he's also very um, positive minded uh he's going to be his own you know uh support he's incredible for support 
Um, so yes, if you haven't checked out Atroni yet, he's absolutely beautiful. Uh, do go check him out. Um, <laughs> everything's a bloody trick of one way or another. Yeah, but hey, if you allow yourself to see it as something that guides you into a lighter path and take action on going down that lighter path, you got this. You got this. <laughs> Alright, so what I wanted to do with these guys is I'm going to imagine that the hair's gone longer. I think I'm going to let her have longer hair. Um, not like super long, but the concept that she's got long hair when she goes to bed. And then let's see when... So now her everyday. There was an everyday hairstyle that I was just looking at. I don't know if it'd be in here though. Because she could either do this one. Or... What's this one? Mm, she's got a little bit more of like... Um, I abuse that hairstyle. I love it. I think I could probably see with a hair up like this. That hat is scary. We're not using that hat. <laughs> and I reckon for her formal. <laughs> so. Oh, I just love her formal attire. I don't know if I want to change her hairstyle for it. There's a few different hairstyles here though. What's this? I like that, and then we can give her that red bow colour again. Oh, silly. There you go. That's cute. And then I reckon her sister would keep funky hair because she's the we've got the crazy uh bit more Great absent It'll quench you. Nothing's quench you. It's the quench you. all right you have my attention <laughs> you have my attention all right y'all um we're going to do some hydrating so feel free to um hydrate with me and share what nation you are hydrating i'm hydrating australia And then we're going to recenter because I definitely need the grounding. This is why I keep a trona nearby. <laughs> I love all the Humphreys, so good. All right, if you want to join me for a few deep breaths. Always makes me feel so much better. <sighs> Guys, can you hear like the instant change in my voice too? Happens every time. I just get real chilled. <laughs> Alright, I reckon for our athletic should have her hair up. And then swimwear, I guess should have her hair <laughs> down. Alright, so that's the attire for a beautiful Sahara. Mizuki. Humphrey's in the chair. <laughs> Hydrate from the moon. <laughs> oh dear. No offense, but relaxing slash grounding makes me want to cry. That's a good thing. Crying is a beautiful way to release. Powerful, powerful way to release. Updated air war and link to the family tree has been posted. Thank you so much, Smalls. Guys, if you haven't already yet, do uh, pop into the Sims channel in the Discord, in my Discord, and Smalls has an awesome Sims um, Rainbow Sea challenge that she's doing and she just shared. So jump into that. That'll be super cool. <laughs> I'll wait till um, Savannah gets up before we do her. Let's make a muffin. We'll make a muffin.
she isn't working today. I might get her to go repair what she broke with her. Yep, no. Alright, so the little ones are going up today. Sean and Seth, that's a bit mm. cute. Mm. Mm. Zip mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, we're the Ooh. new boo. <laughs> that one's just getting fixed. Nice. So she doesn't work today. Let's get her to repair this though. Seth and Sean are together. Adorable. Mm. Tell the baby to drink some milk. Mm. Drink your milk! Mm. Drink your milk, child! Mm. I think he's good. I think he drank his milk. He does want to sleep, though. Mm. Alright. Kids are good to go. Amin. Does he work today? I'm assuming he doesn't work today. He needs to make these burgers. Can you please make the burgers? Kim is now the father of a new baby boy. Kanisha just gave birth to a baby boy named Curtis. Oh, that could be a cute baby too. I have to follow how they grow up. That's good. We've got some more babies happening. We'll see if the too many baby en babies end up happening, but because if I look at the town, we look at our tagger again. Enraz, sorry, Bagora, no, Enraz, tagger, shoes, so tags on. Okay, where's our babies at? One there. She just had a child too. What's her baby reciting? Um, we should have another baby somewhere. I don't think that said baby would be on this lines, but I don't know where that other baby is. But yeah, definitely not enough babies, not enough toddlers, so we need a big baby boom. Very important, and I should have fixed that now. I go turn the tagger off. Tagger gets a bit intense. Still got that sweet dream song stuck in my head. <laughs> She's sleeping. Oh. Shana be sedin. No buffer heart has seen a walk. I'm going to use the toilet and then go deliver that dish. Um, Luna, the whole time I thought story progression was turned on automatically when you first get the game. Uh, it does prompt you. It does prompt you. Um, but, like, you do have story progression in game. So the story progression, in, like there is the EA story progression, but it's 
kind of shit. That's why this new NRAS story progression is like God's, God's tears. Um, but it prompts you when you jump in with story progression mod on. Alright. I don't think I do I do I have anything sneaky on today? I feel like I need to double check. There's nothing else meant to be going on today. but I don't want to download a mod. Could be a virus. NRAS mods are safe airs. They're really, really good. Uh, Minecraft mods are safe. <laughs> uh, I haven't dipped in too many Minecraft mods. Smos, I did finally move back to sleeping in my room yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Smos, you're making leaps and bounds. That's so cool. Yeah. Excited for you. Right, I know this is a burnt serving of hamburgers, but no one would notice, right? Okay, well, your brother in law's there, so you can go do that. They're not going anywhere today. Um, I don't know why he's not using his own bathroom. Oh, that's why, because she's doing the bath. Okay. Um, but let's let him. I guess we should finally own a venue. We also want to become a partner of one more venue. I think she wants to become a partner. Does anyone else? Oh, well, he wants to own a venue. So we do have a few that we're really partner in. So I think we'd be wanting to find a property that we don't partner in. Um. By the park? Because we might as well. The burgers that were burnt to crisp would be delicious. It's great to see you can flip and serve when the time comes. Yeah, we'll take it. Use your improved cooking skill to pre prepare something special for yourself. That's so sweet. We can now make key lime pie, which I don't know if I've ever had. I'm pretty certain that's an American dish. But in saying that, I have American family and I. Let's go get him. I want him to pop up here. Let's, let's go meditate up here. How nice would this be for a spot to meditate? Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, no, right, right at that point. Right there. Yeah, that's the spot. The Go Here mod. Amazing. It looks so purple in the light. I don't know if it is purple. And then we'll meditate for a few hours there. She's entering a dish. <laughs> Uh, we got second. It's alright. Sushi didn't take too long to make. <laughs> now, does it require for us to do anything to it? Or is it already open? Because sometimes... Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. Like, it's already got a building there. It's probably already open. Um, you don't need to freak out. He's neurotic. Probably thinks he needs to freak out. He can do some gardening though. That is something he can do. He can tend to his garden. Oh, we got a dead plant. What's that? A lime tree. Plant a lime tree. To replace it. Hey, nice. Um, and she wants to. Alright, she wants to look after the child. That's fine. She she needs everything. Oh gosh, poor child. Please tell me you're going to feed it first. Yeah, can you get a bottle, change diaper, snuggle, play with. And then I kind of want you to go into town and get that other partner. I don't know if I'm going to stretch that much. Let's go the smaller ones first. <laughs> don't have that much money coming out of our eels. Um... 
Luna, you should name a sim child string element since I like to look in. In monument Kralik. memory of string no. elements. Mm. Stream elements will never die. Never die. You know, you can claim money once a week from the job partner who just got the computer. It's, yeah, it all adds up, hey. I don't know if I've owned the whole town, but I think I've gotten pretty close to owning the whole town. I do love that, that part of the sim. The sim's just got so much depth. It's amazing. I love it. Don't take the child. Please don't take the child. Child doesn't want to come with you. Um, I want her to get her... Uh, is that what she needs? Just one more? No. But she just needs to do some talking then. Means meditating. Xavier's gardening. Monica is buying a share. The kids are at school. Today. It's going to be cool to see what genes they got, like whether they've got blue eyes, brown eyes, blonde hair, brown hair, um, whether they've got like the the Egyptian nose or not. Alright, Savia. Savia. It's fine. We'll be able to go to work on that. Okay, so we're now partnered with Evergreen. And $500 tips. Why don't you go to Central Park? And you can place the tips there. Alright, Gracie. Um, <laughs> Luigi is your favorite. It's your favorite. Good old Luigi at it again. Um, has your sims gone to college yet? You've got to make the kids do their homework. Oh no! I don't think so. I think they did do their homework. Oh, it's because it, it's at the... I oh, know, there's no homework. To do. Don't do that to me. That's not funny. I need to pop an alcohol seltzer. My chest is... A whatty what what? I don't understand. <laughs> um... homework is in the inventory and you gotta click it yeah but if they're at work uh, at school it will tell you like they, they can um, work on un like uncompleted homework oh gosh guys <laughs> having a deja vu moment oh hmm. this is gonna be interesting to see how it pans out hmm. <laughs> deja vu moments are so cool Chicken tips. She's got people listening to her at least. Yeah, deja vu is so, so cool. Uh, a trainer has really <laughs> cool deja vu experiences. Listen. My deja vu means just my predictions coming true. Leaky. Yeah, deja vu is super powerful. Super cool. Do hi. Need so. give them um maybe upstairs could be a study space for them if we remember let's do that um let's do that tomorrow let's make like this little nookie their their study space that way they've got a, a desk that they could study with yes it is a powerfully intuitive ability 
big time. Uh, uh -huh. um, right, let's get him to. We might as well as Zenaport home. Uh, and then serve the family some lunch. It's gonna be five o'clock mm. apparently. Tazik. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Goopy. Why not have some goopy? Oh. Uh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> I get deja vu moments over the stupid things mm. like eating a sandwich. That's quirky. Mm. I like that. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's see what these guys want to do. You want to talk to your mama. Let's go talk to your mama. You also want to talk to your mama. You guys can have a chat circle. Sweet dreams are made of these. Oh. Who oh, am I go. to disagree? Travel the world <laughs> in the seas. Oh, Nashugi, Malakana Mushi Chab. Oh, Eva Thonk, Nicola. <laughs> Briafni, Gibbara, Ah, Stumi Niki, Grok. I have Monica come home soon, I think. Addicted to the song, no, it's stuck in my head. And it's a good song. <laughs> a win win. The kids want to. Ah. 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 Addiction comes from the mind telling you. Oh, let's look at the lyrics then. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Travel the world and the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. Some of them want to use you. Some of them want to be used by you. Some of them want to abuse you. Some of them want to be abused. Interesting. It's definitely a push and pull thing going on with that song. Ah, rude, An elusive kind of things coming into. She gets a copyright claim. I don't. I don't sound like a rhythm, uh, rhythmic spot. I'd be I'd be pretty honored if they thought I did. <gasps> Amari, she got her mummy's hair. And then we gotta see what a moon looks like. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, you're so cute. She's got mummy's nose. We we'll have to um, jump into. Um, and Razzy, we've got another blondie. Interesting. Looks like it might have mummy's nose too. Ooh, okay, let's go see what a mean looks like. So we're going to Master Controller. Let's jump into Cass and we'll get a good look at these little ones before we jump off because I'm really feeling ungrounded. I really need to get off. <laughs> but this is the gorgeous Amun and he's got daddy's brown eyes. He's got mummy's nose, mummy's hair. 
Uh, he seems very cute. And mum's hair colour. So that's really interesting. We only had one with the darker skin tone out of the two. But the chocolate eyes are so adorable. I'm excited to see. Looks like he's got mummy's face too. I'm really excited to see how um, he grows up. And now let's go pop in and see what Amari looks like. I'm really liking the name Amari. Emeralds, Master Controller, Advanced, Edwin Cass. The baby on, uh, place the baby on the floor to age up is just so funny. Yeah, it's a little bit intriguing. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're like, they look very identical, but obviously, oh, maybe that's what it's about. They're like identical twins, but it's a girl and a boy. Because same brown eyes, same features that mum has, same blonde hair. That would make sense why they're both the same, same skin color. All right, these guys are very, very, very similar in look. So it'll be cool to see how they vary with the more masculine energy coming in when um, when Amun gets older. <gasps> oh, I love mm. genetics, so that's going to be super duper fun. But I, I, I'm going to pop off because I definitely need a break. I need to reground myself, get my shit together, <laughs> which is always easier said than done. Ah, okay, so I'm going to save, bail out. Um, I named the only blonde in the family Azira. Is that how you'd pronounce it? Azira? I like that. I like that. Azira. Thank you so much, Wyatt. Thanks for the lovely stream. Thank you for joining me to make it a lovely stream. I always love and appreciate you guys popping in. Um, yeah, this is a little bit longer than I, I have been doing. So it's probably wigging me out a little bit. Yeah, Azira. I like that. Azira rolls off the it just feels nice. Azira. Azira. It's got a nice sound to it. I love names. <laughs> it's a girl version of Azeraphael, which is an angel. Oh, that would make more sense. Yeah, there's only... I haven't tapped into a lot of the angel energies, which is interesting because I kind of obviously overall tap into their energies, but I usually tap into uh, the, like, I guess you could say the main ones that are around, like uh, Michael... And I've just met Haniel, um, Raziel, um, a little bit of Raphael, and yeah, yeah, I'm learning to tap into them more. <laughs> okay, Angel, good omens. As as uh, as zero, let me say as zero fail, as zero fail. Hmm, I like that. Um, alrighty, gorgeous people, we need to give some love excuse me i don't go go away oh like what is going on okay i'm good um let's go see who we can go share the love to with a raid um see who's on and about and go give them some love yeah um hmm are you guys feeling ASMR? We're feeling Sims 3. The only people that I have on there at the moment are ASMR people. What's in the Sims 3? Oh, there's a few more viewers in the Sims 3. Looks like someone's only just jumped on. Um, who's this? Ducky Bob. As well. Cute name. She seems cool. It's Christmas, guys. We had Christmas without a fireplace. Oof. We can go give us some love. Let's go. Jeez, let's go hang out and, and, and see Ducky Bob. Age up. No, 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 no. Don't worry. All right. When let's, you guys you can age hear up, in the background you guys are too, also going to work. So that popped her up to suss out our energy. But let's go sure. check out some Ducky Bob. We need mo money for the the house. That sounds really good. You'll get them when you're dead and you're um, out. Yeah, let's go raid! Boop, boop, boop. Uh, feel free when we go in there, guys, to do a big Gracie raid. Get the ha la la, ha la 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 la, ha la 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 la, going as you go in. Um, I might as well use that raid command so you guys get an idea of what it can look like. We're going, we have great fun. Um, but thank you, everyone who joined me. I love and appreciate you all so, so dearly. Um, yeah, and I look forward to connecting again. I'll be doing niche tomorrow. So we're doing our niche adventure tribe tomorrow. Earlier than we did our stream today. I usually stream earlier. Uh, my 9am. Whereas I start at my 
1 p.m. or well, it was kind of closer to 2 by the time I got my shit together. Um, but yes, we'll be uh, popping on earlier tomorrow for our beautiful, cute little niche tribe. Lots of things going on. A uh, few niche that need some people to, you know, jump in as their kind of storyteller and embrace their essence, as I like to say. So yeah, it's going to be good fun. So feel free to join tomorrow. But until then, I love and appreciate you all. Let's go send lots and lots of love and light over to the gorgeous Ducky Bub. Um, and yeah, see you when I see you. <laughs> ha la 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 la, ha la 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 la. See you beautiful people. <laughs>